Hey guys, so I've got the old haircut, shaved off the old beard. Um, yeah, let's go do an ice bath. Okay, a lot of uh, floating, big chunks of floating ice in this. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. There's always that one chunk of ice that gets right around your back. <laughs> so I see a ton of questions about ice baths and recovery. Um, and, and I can only provide my experience with ice baths and recovery. Um, I do heavy workouts. Um, I do loads of repetitions of particular exercises for muscle endurance. Um, I run and I've used the ice bath very often or you know some level of cold exposure um, to aid in my recovery and it's worked really well. In fact, I stand by everything to do with taking an ice bath after. Um, I've also taken ice baths before, like I'm doing today. Um, and, and I see a lot of people quoting Andrew Huberman and various other experts and where, where they talk a lot about hypertrophy. Um, and, and I think there's one thing that is really important for people to understand. These guys are experts in their field, and they know what they're talking about, right? So we have to kind of take what they say and understand it, but try and understand the context of what they say, because that's equally important. And when they're talking about a loss of hypertrophy, um, if you take an ice bath directly after training, they're not talking about complete loss. They're talking about a maybe 5% loss right maybe 10% in some people and I think people need to understand that that 5 to 10% is not going to make a difference to the average person because their training is optimized to get the, the maximum out of their training right and there's so much more that goes into that whether it's nutrition whether it's hydration and, and stuff like that you know the same people that are saying don't take a cold bath after um, you do some level of strength training are the same people that are going to go and drink an energy drink and you know going to go to McDonald's which is m hundreds of times worse for you and for your recovery and for your training and all the gains that you want than the ice bath so it's important that you take into the context of what they're talking about um, if you're a bodybuilder or a power lifter and you're looking to get every percentage that you can get out of your training, don't take an ice bath because it will affect you. But if you're an average person working out to lose calories, working out to gain a bit of muscle and to look good, taking an ice bath after your training is not going to make much of a difference to you. It's never made a difference to me, but I train for muscle endurance pre predominantly with a little bit of strength and hypertrophy in there. Um, but I think people really need to understand that context because it gets blown way out of proportion. Way out of proportion. So many people think that taking the ice bath is going to take away everything that you've just trained. It's just nonsense. And even these guys say that. Um, the ice bath is only detrimental to you if you are training for competition 
or you've got an optimized training schedule where you're optimizing nutrition and hydration and stretching and mobility and all of that stuff that goes into it. If you aren't doing any of that, ice bath is not going to make a difference to you. And you should probably look at other areas of your life and your lifestyle to optimize your training. Um, and most people need better nutrition to start there. And don't take it out on the ice bath. The ice bath is going to help you in so many more ways than just recovery. Um, don't let it be a limiting factor based on what you hear a lot of experts say without a lot of context. So that's my two cents. And with that, we'll call it.